or to the upside right here. Predicted MACD is also crossing, is just crossing the trigger above the zero line, and our predict medium, predicted medium and long-term differences and strength indicators are all pointing that this trend is going to continue. Triple EMA, nice call there. We've got a good extension from the 1200 mark all the way up over this 1240 mark. So let's go in now to our daily report and have a look and see what's actually happening here. Now, with for tomorrow, we're we're at seasonal highs, yearly high, multi-year highs in gold. So a lot of people would not want to buy in this area. Now, uh, again, there there isn't any particular reason why we shouldn't be buying on this, and I'm going to go into further uh, explanation into that. So for tomorrow, we can see 12:30 and 12:52.20 is the high. So 12:30 is what we're going to be using for that entry point. Now let's go back and have a look at our major support levels here. We can identify them using the vantage point predicted moving averages, averages, and they come in at 12:11, 12:21, and 12:32.80. This 12:32.80 is a likely area where we're going to see a bounce tomorrow. That's why I'm suggesting we stick with that predicted low and go in at the 12:30 mark. Now uh, again. Our stop, all stops would be below the 1211 mark. Actually, we should have our stops about 1198 to be safe. That's what that's what I would prefer. So, with all of these multiple indicators from vantage point here, we can see that uh, everything points that gold is going to probably move higher. Now, the point, the only thing that concerns me is this pattern right here. When we hit this level uh, back, you know, in the middle middle of May, we then got this sharp sell-off all the way down to the 1160 mark. But we can also uh, assess from this how extremely uh, fast the gold contracts were covered despite the weaker equities and the, and the other weaker commodities gold is really continues to move higher so before we uh, move off here what I want to do is I want to do a bit of a I'm going to take these indicators off and we're going to apply a, a, a split screen here so everybody can see this uh, against the US dollar and and the other commodities to see what's actually happening this this is a, a very unique analysis that, that we're doing here now what we're going to do is we're going to put the gold contracts here and then what we do is we split this screen and put the gold down on the bottom so then what we can do is put it up against some of the other uh, things that are happening now we can see the US Canadian is it is under pressure as the gold contracts move higher now the gold does affect the US Canadian pair but the one we're really watching here is the US dollar index so let's pull up this US dollar index and see what's happening now gold here we can see that the US dollar index actually maintained a stronger value than actually what gold did so gold had this sharp sell-off and the US dollar continued to strengthen now if we take this right now we go here let's have a look at this from a different perspective we're going to put the short term crossover and we're going to hit apply to both now what we're going to see, we're looking for uh, again changes in patterns so we can see here that the crossover is almost the same on the US dollar index as it is in gold so these two are actually moving up side by side very very interesting to say the least now looking at the medium term crossover again we're looking for price patterns we can see again that with the US dollar index we never actually got a crossover but we did with the gold contract so gold was actually showing somewhat uh, more weakness than than even what the US dollar was so but now it, in my opinion what's going to happen is we're going to start to potentially see this re reverse now if we were to look at this with a with a true strength indicator we're going to see if we can put this here up on on both of these two contracts and see what's happening here now we can do that now the the US dollar index again is starting to run flat but we can see that the gold contract is breaking higher we're into the 20 mark but we can see up here on the predicted true strength indicator that it's in the 40 area the the US dollar index is actually becoming overbought whereas the gold contracts are not so it's certainly of interest to, here to us to to do the analysis this way and it was based on a, if we look at this based on a seasonal pattern uh, it, it was about this time last year that actually the gold contracts and the US dollar were moving up together at the same time but then gold broke higher and the US dollar broke lower so this is a very similar pattern that I'm suggesting may actually happen this year also now now again looking at this we can see that you know we're still in a very bullish move here but we look like it looks like we're again starting to top out on this US dollar index and we've been at this high before in this 89 level and it was not sustainable so my position is it's probably going to sell off 
So those are the two market positions for June the 9th, 2010. And again, my name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com.